everyone and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to talk about one particular project, which I found out about recently, and I think it's really interesting and it's great potential for growth. If you like this channel, please hit the like button, subscribe to it, and please also check out the community section. Okay, so the project I want to talk about today is called EverEarn, and it's a relatively new project. As you can see here from the chart, it only, well, the token was only launched at the beginning of the year, so it's only a couple of months old, not even that. And recently it had this massive pump. So you may think, well, why would I be interested in this project? Well, I think the project has a lot going for it. And as you can see, the market cap is still very, very low, 26 million. And also, if you follow my Twitter, you'd know that I actually first mentioned this project a couple of days ago, which was when the price was somewhere around here. So in fact, if you looked at it then, well, there was an opportunity to do more than 2x over the last couple of days. It had this dip recently, but well, let's look at the chart of Bitcoin and the crypto market overall. That's basically because of what happened here. Essentially, the whole crypto market took a big dump. So unsurprisingly, all projects were, were affected. Okay, so what this project is about? Well, essentially, as you can see here, it offers its holders 11% in BUSD um, rewards, um, well, forever. So what it is, is one of the reflection tokens, which basically means that whenever a transaction, buy or sell transaction is conducted using this earn token, 15% of that is, is taken as tax, so it's deducted from the, from the transaction amount. But from that 15%, 11% is being paid out to, to its holders at, in rewards. And the remaining 4% are being paid out, well, basically just to keep the platform running. So essentially, 1% is auto-generated liquidity, 1% is buyback and burn, and 2% is for marketing. And as you can see here, 11% is in rewards. So this relatively new concept. First tokens of this type started appearing last year. But it's a concept that's gaining more and more popularity because essentially the idea is that, well, because there is that tax payable on every transaction, there is a very strong incentive for holders of this token to continue holding. So this is not only an incentive to hold the token, but of course this also helps to stabilize its price. It's less likely that there will be sudden dumps and essentially a lot of people will be getting rid of their tokens because, well, there is this very strong incentive to, to keep it. The idea is nothing particularly new. I mean, there are plenty of other projects that give you rewards, sometimes very, very big rewards for holding their tokens. But what I like about this project is the fact that the rewards are actually paid in BUSD, which is a stable coin pegged one to one to US dollar. So unlike many other projects where the reward is paid out in either the token you are staking or some other token. And of course, the value of that token can go up and down significantly over time. In this case, the value of the token you are holding hopefully will keep going up over time and we'll look at the price in a minute. But also, well, the rewards are being paid out in a stable coin. So that removes some of the risk from, from the whole process because essentially you know that the, it's basically like getting paid out rewards in dollars rather than in some random coin, which you can never be entirely sure what will happen with it longer term. So I think that's a huge, huge benefit. And if we look at the price action over the last, well, there wasn't really much happening for a long period of time. And then in the last couple of weeks, the price just started skyrocketing. So it went up significantly, especially in the last few days but the market cap is still only $26 million. It has huge potential for growth. So there is basically a really strong incentive to buy this token now and, and hold it before, before the price goes up like crazy. And then of course the secondary benefit is well getting rewards from, from holding those tokens. Okay, so what do I like about this project? Well, of course there are the rewards and, and potential for the price to go up massively. I mean, that's, that's the main benefit, right? That's, that's why we are investing in any crypto. But let's have a look at this particular project in more detail. Well, the contract's already been audited by two separate auditors, which is always a good start. If we then scroll back, 
we covered this bit already, 11% paid out in rewards, 15% in tax. And what I really like is essentially the, the roadmap. I will come back to all those bits in a minute. But if you look at the roadmap, the stuff that they've already done in the last few months, I mean, there is a lot. It's probably one of the most detailed, if not the most detailed roadmaps I've ever seen. And there is so much coming on in February. I mean, just look at this list and then March and so on. It's, it's actually crazy how much stuff there is going on. That's what makes me really bullish about this project because it's not just this one thing with where the rewards are being paid out. There is more and more going to happen. So let's have a look at what they are planning to, to do over the next few months. So first of all, we already have the Everswap app. So basically it's like their own internal um, DEX. So you can just connect here with your MetaMask. Of course, you can use also PancakeSwap, but you can connect to Everswap with your MetaMask. You can also just purchase the tokens with, with a debit card, which is really helpful, especially for people who are new to crypto because, well, essentially it makes it much easier to, to access this token. What's then planned next is NFT marketplace, and that's supposed to be coming out very soon. And of course, well, if you've been following my videos or if you've been in the, in the space for, for the last few months, you know how much traction NFT has been gaining recently. And especially with the current dip in the, in the crypto market overall. Well, whenever crypto dips, NFTs tend to go up in volume. That's partially because the price of ETH is going down. Therefore, a lot of NFTs are becoming more affordable. However, at the moment, I would say that one of the biggest problems with NFTs is that OpenSea pretty much has a monopoly for, for trading them. That's not entirely true. Of course, there are other platforms, but they're not very popular. So I think the more new NFT platforms appear that allow you to buy, sell, create NFTs and so on, as this platform will, is, is extremely beneficial because we need it. We need more competition in the NFT trading space because otherwise, well, if you've been using OpenSea, you know that it's far from perfect. And well, actually this video is timed really well because there was another issue with, with OpenSea in the last sort of 12 hours or so. Um, but yeah, we essentially need more platforms in this space. We need more choice, we need more, more options. So this is definitely very, very welcome. And then the next project they're launching very soon is Ever Wallet, which will be a cryptocurrency wallet, of course, and a tracker. So that's yet another really good app, really good utility. Um, and it's really good to see that one company is doing so much stuff, so many different projects that essentially, for someone who, for example, just joins the crypto space, it's quite amazing how much stuff there will be possible just within this one project, within this one platform. You can buy the token with, with your fiat, just using uh, your debit card. You will be then able to store it in the Ever Wallet and track your portfolio there. And also they will have their own platform for trading NFTs. So this is like pretty much one stop shop for everything you need in crypto. So as you can see, there is a lot going on. A lot will be happening in the next days and weeks. And if we then scroll to the roadmap again, there'll be also a marketing push in Europe and Asia. So basically you can expect this plus those new tools, the wallet and the NFT marketplace to drive the price of the token up. So I'm really looking forward to see what will happen over those next, next few weeks because I think this project will go absolutely parabolic. Like I said earlier, at the moment the market cap is around 26 million, but I can see that easily hitting 100 million very, very soon and then going up much, much higher. Also, what I like about it is that the core team is fully doxed. And I know that for some people it doesn't matter. I said it before, I think, in one of the videos that sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. But I think it always adds a bit more credibility to the project when the team is fully doxed and when it's a, when it's a credible team. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I don't necessarily discount projects which don't have a dox team. That's not always an issue for me, but I always see it as a big advantage if the team is fully doxed and, and it is a credible team because, well, that essentially gives you some sort of confidence in the project and 
you know who's, who's behind it and what they are likely to, to do with it. And then another thing that makes me really bullish on it is the fact that they are really pushing marketing at the moment. So there are AMAs coming out, I think, pretty much every day at the moment, and they are really solid AMAs. A lot of them are like hour, hour and a half long. So as you can see, the team is working on a lot of things, but also they are talking to, to the people, they are talking to their investors or potential investors about what's happening. They are giving opportunities to ask questions, which, which I really appreciate. It's, it's really important. They are reaching out to a lot of people in terms of promoting the project. I heard about this project because they reached out to me. I'll be 100% honest with you. So I've done my research on this project and, and I invested in it as well because I'm really excited to see what they do. I believe in the project myself. So yeah, I see, I see absolutely no reason not to invest in it. Um, of course, at the moment, the market is really sketchy. I've mentioned it many times. I'll be making another video tomorrow about the market uh, situation at the moment. And yeah, every small, especially every small cap project is a high risk project at the moment. It all goes without saying. But at the same time, times like this are some of the best opportunities in terms of buying. And you know my strategy if you've been following my channel. I have a large chunk of my portfolio in Bitcoin, ETH and ADA, which means that I don't mind playing with smaller parts of my, my portfolio in various mid to low cap altcoins and very often micro cap altcoins because, well, I'm just willing to take that risk. But yeah, just to sum it up, I think it's a really strong project. Um, I really like what they are doing. I'm really excited to see what will happen in the next few weeks. I will be making follow-up videos because well, there will be a lot going on. If you are interested in this project, I urge you to check out their white paper. There is a lot of detail there. Uh, check out their website. There's a ton of information, as you can see, all the details in terms of their roadmap. And also check out their AMAs on, on YouTube because there is a ton of information there. So yeah, I hope you found this video interesting and this project interesting. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, please check them in the comment section and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.